A320 Mentor Channel. When you initially enter the cockpit, all the EIS displays are normally off. The displays require AC electrical power to operate. The engine warning display information is displayed on the upper ECAM screen, and the door oxy system page is displayed on the lower ECAM screen. The door oxy page is what the ECAM system will automatically display because you are on the ground with the doors open. The APU has been started. The APU system page is automatically displayed. There is no light on the ECAM control panel APU key, because the APU page has been automatically called as part of a normal sequence. The APU is now running. Once the APU has been started, the ECAM door oxy page is automatically displayed. As the external power is no longer needed, we have disconnected it for you. When performing a cold start of the aircraft, if the recall key is depressed, a normal memo will be seen on the engine warning display, because, there is nothing to recall. If we were on a turnaround call any wing that has been recalled, note. Emmer cancelled and still present will be recalled. The ECAM system will automatically display the ECAM engine page during engine start. The ECAM wheel page is automatically called, so that during taxi, the brake temperatures can be monitored. Part of the after-start checks involves the arming of the ground spoilers and flaps setting. We will arm the spoilers and select the flaps for you. Approximately two minutes after the second engine has been started, a takeoff memo appears on the engine warning display. The takeoff memo lists a series of actions required by the crew to prepare the aircraft for takeoff. If you look at the list, you can see that there are blue action items remaining, specifically setting the auto brakes to max and testing the takeoff configuration. We will set the auto brakes to max for you. The blue action item changed to green and moved. Just before completing the before takeoff checklist, the takeoff configuration test is carried out. This is done by pressing the takeoff configuration key on the ECAM control panel. Select the takeoff configuration key. By selecting the takeoff configuration key, the ECAM system simulates the application of takeoff power. If the aircraft is not in a takeoff configuration, for example flaps not in the correct configuration, then an ECAM warning or caution will be triggered. Provided ECAM detects that the aircraft is in a normal configuration, then the takeoff configuration memo changes to normal. Observe that there are no blue action lines left on the engine warning display. During the taxi out, flight controls have to be checked. 
the ACAME system automatically calls the ACAME flight control page as soon as any of the flight controls are moved on the ground. Observe that when the engines are set to take off thrust, the ECAM engine page is automatically called. On the engine warning display, notice that the takeoff memo is replaced by normal memos. A magenta takeoff inhibit message has appeared. The takeoff inhibit message advises you that most warnings and cautions have been inhibited during the takeoff phase. Level, or two minutes after liftoff, the takeoff inhibit ceases and the memo is removed. The ECAM cruise page replaces automatically the engine page. When the aircraft is in phase 6 or takeoff power is not maintained. The aircraft is lined up on final approach. As the landing gear is extended, the ECAM system will automatically display the wheel page. The wheel page is displayed to provide information useful for the landing, for example, brake temperatures and spoiler deployment. Below 2000 feet, the landing memo appears on the engine warning display. Notice that there is a blue action remaining, advising you to arm the spoilers. We will arm them for you. The blue action line is replaced by a green action completed indication. Notice that there are now no blue action lines outstanding. At approximately 800 feet, the landing inhibit becomes active and this is indicated by a magenta memo. The landing inhibit message advises you that the vast majority of warnings and cautions have been inhibited during the landing phase. At engine shutdown, the ECAM door oxy page is automatically recalled, so that you can check slide disarming. Notice the pulsing status message on the engine warning display. This is telling you that there is a maintenance-related message on the status page that you have not seen. Status page has been called for you. There's a white maintenance status message at the bottom of the status page. This message is an indication for maintenance personnel that a system requires a maintenance procedure at the next programmed servicing. It does not mean that the aircraft is unserviceable. A320, Mentor Channel.